long so you guys can hear us. We are interviewing Wicked Wood for the second time. How's it going, fam? Yeah. What up? What's up? What up? Uh, <laughs> is that a woo woo? I, I had to. Whoop, whoop. I had to. You gotta it, come it, back, it, it man. Was DJ Snickers is the shit. Hell yeah. Thank you, fam. Yes. I got a new co host, Lord Chaos. Oh, what up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Lord Chaos, why don't very, you take very, the first question? Very good to be here. Okay. Um, Wicked Wood. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, this is a two-parter. Okay. Um, I want each of your opinions. Okay. I want to know who you would like to collab with, who is alive, and who is dead. So, in other words, I would say one person, Mariah Carey and Michael Jackson. That That's an example. I want to know who you guys want to collab with, who is alive and who is dead. I'm going to let Great Big go first on this one. Mm, let's see. Alive? Yeah. That's a tough question. It's really a tough question. I'm dead. I'm going to say, like, uh, I mean, we've had a lot of awesome rock stars, you know, go out here recently, but, uh, like, Jimi Hendrix, like, I would love to get, like, some guitar tracks and, you know, glitch them up and do all kinds of stuff with that. But as far as living artists go, like, I'd, I mean, Trent Reznor, hands down, like, it's one of my major influences, or if, I am even, you know what, not even Trent Reznor, uh, Cap, Captain K from KMFEM, like, I'm still trying to get them to contact me back to do some stuff. <laughs> yeah, Jimi Hendrix, <laughs> Captain here. K. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next um, person? As far as I go, you know, I would say for mine, um, dead, I would say, um, I said it in an interview, I think it was like, um, Bob Marley or Tupac or, um, one more. I can't remember. I think it was a tour core magazine. We did the interview for them. I said, it was, I asked like, asked a similar question, but, um, definitely Pac, man. Like, I would say, like, and the other one I would have to say is shout out to the Gino Colt shit, man. I would, that's, Hell that's yeah. a big one too. It's like, you know, that we did that track wasted on dubs up with him, but just like, amazing track and brilliant fucking mind and Still great voice and just like a, a really, really good person. Really, really good person. There's three members in yeah, Wicked Wood, right? Say, and then I would say for my for my for my live ones, I would say I really want that insane crime posse check, man. Like I really really want that. So that would be like one of the top ones. Now my dream collab, I would say it would be like something like I, stuff that you couldn't even like fathom to actually be a real collab. Um, it's like. Everybody wants that Eminem verse. I want an Eminem verse. You know, as, as, as difficult as it would be. You know what I mean? So, like, that would be one. And, uh, definitely Tech Nine. So, it would be yeah, dope to have a Lotus track, though. So, that would be insane. That would be insane. Yeah. Can you imagine having Lotus? That, that would, would be, be really uh, unbelievable. Yeah. So, I'd say for a live, definitely, like, Lotus is going to be my, my final call. All right, there's three members of Wicked Wood, right? Only two tonight. There is three. Oh, okay. Only two, two with us tonight? Yep. Yeah. All right. Snickers, your turn to ask a question. So Wicked Wood, playing the gathering again this year. Let's talk about that. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, man. Um, well, Jump Steady reached out to us. Um, after last year, we did the Demo Jams contest, and we placed second right under Body Bag Syndicate. Um, and it was just a bad song choice when it really came down to it. But much shout out to Body Bag Syndicate. There's dope motherfuckers and they deserve it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they do a great and, job. And, um, that they do. Definitely, definitely some good, some cool cast, man. And, uh, you know, a lot of people expect us to like not be cool with each other because we've won that contest or but it's all love, man. All day. And, um, a lot say, of great artists do that. Exactly. And like, for, for the gathering, the way everything got all, yeah, we, there was a ton of great artists in that, in that, in, especially in that version of Demo Jams. I mean, we had like, I think Mr. E was in there. 
We had um, a bunch of ones that actually ended up getting what? What'd you say? Oh, I'm talking to my cat. <laughs> oh, I miss, he, I, he's I, talking to his pussy damn, over that's there. Hilarious. <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. But you know, it's like, like houses. <laughs> it got set up the right way after we did um, DCG Con. Um, we went up to Detroit for that, and that was a, another freaking honor, man. Like, everything that's happened to us this last year has just been insane. Like, I, there's there's not words. There's not words for what's been going on with us because it's been a nonstop. It feels like right, everything's but... on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, like, Great Bait's thinking the end of the exact same thing. It's just like, since January, man, it's been like, I would say since the gathering last year, it's been all the way the fuck up. Hell yeah. And it's just like, it's continued. So that's, and so after the show. we got for the gathering is insane. Exactly. Now, have you guys had a oh, chance a great to play spot. with Zug Island at all? Had a show with them? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah we, we just did a show with them this year, man. Hell yeah. Shout out to Stan, shout out to Mike P, shout out to all of them. Their drummer, Sick. I can't remember their drummer's name. I don't know if Great Bait does, but um, he was a cool cat too. Um, they, they, they were, were just amazing dudes. dudes. Shout out to um, Zug's, uh, I mean, uh, Sin's uh, old lady, uh, Joy. She's awesome yep, too. She is. Everybody just shows like mad super love from us over at that camp, and uh, they loved our set. And we just had a we had a blast with those guys. We, we were kicking it all night, right? I just That's interviewed Zuck Island. Did. Three and a half hours. Kind of interesting. We ended up going on after them, kind of oh, like yeah. over, like they they wanted to go on before us. So like we ended up closing that night, and it was just like everybody waited and everybody wild the fuck out. Like fucking Mike P and fucking uh, Sin were in there uh, kicking beach balls and shit. It was great. Nice. Oh yeah, the beach balls. They're fucking beach balls. Like, I got a beach ball right there. <laughs> Here's the show, man. Man, I got a radio <laughs> drop from Sin. He was so wasted. He had a yeah. dog named Snickers. So in the radio <laughs> drop, he's like, Snickers, if I ever meet you, man, I'm going to have to hug you and pet you and tell you I love you. So that's part of the radio drop. <laughs> that's awesome. I was like, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. Sin's Sin's a good dude. And like their whole camp, like I said, man, they're we're we're in talks with actually doing a song with them, hopefully. Hell yeah. So yeah, everything they're just waiting on the track uh, is what was what I understand from Joy. So everything like I'm very excited to see them this year at the gathering. (laughs) Another one is like so many of the people that we played with throughout the year, we this is this will be our fourth time playing with Insane Clown Posse. That's awesome. This year. And that's insane because they've only done the solo tours. So yeah, they've only so had like stuff. 12 days plus like Rock Fest and stuff like that and DCG Con. That's about it. So it's like, it's, it's such a, it's such an honor for that to happen. And then like the placement, dude, we are like an hour away from, uh, the ending of the Race Changer last set on main stage. And like, it's like literally, uh, um, uh, the Race Changer last, then there's Chop Shop. And then who's got Shaggy's brother in it? And then there's us. And then like the night progresses. AXD plays that night. Bunch of other cats. It's oh, it's yeah. it's amazing. I got a AXD question. Comes for you guys. Up later on that night. What do you think of all this? Uh, what do you think of all this bull crap going on with Twisted and ICP? What's your take on it? I'm gonna cut right my goddamn this. question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. My opinion, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on it first, and then Great Bait can say whatever he wants to say, because I think we both have differing opinions, but at the same time we agree to some extent. Yeah. Um, I think that I feel like I, it's not even my place to say it, but I've been a juggler since I've been it's been at least 17 years. So I was, I started, I, I became a juggler when I was like 10 years old, and I'm 27 now. So like I've been down for a minute, and like a lot of cats say. They've been down for a minute, but like, there's like, you know, you got, you got the, the proof where I've been doing a track since I was like 14, 15, so you, you, you can see that I've been doing this for a while. Um, we got people coming up. And I shows. feel like, remember when he was 12. 
Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, exactly. And um, we had people at DCG Con that was that were like at my a couple of my first shows and stuff like that. It was crazy. But um, I I would definitely say with this whole beef thing going on, it's like I hate it when personal and business get mixed up because then you end up with a lot of uh, animosity and she gets she gets crazy. And when there's kids involved and other stuff like that, like I don't. My opinion is that I wish it wasn't a beef at all. And I feel like it really sucks that we don't get to see Twisted at the gathering this year. I agree. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Twisted. I'm a huge fan of a lot of artists that are on Ebony. And I just, I hate that it's gotten to this point, but I understand why it has gotten to this point. So at the same time, it's like, there's certain things I don't know if there's any going back from. So... That's that's how I feel about it. But I hate I hate that we have to we have to divide ourselves as a fan base and choose. I want this choose, person man. or that person. But yeah, we need unity. Um, I'm not choosing supposed, any side. I'm saying me. Up. Like I said, we've we've done four shows with ICP this year. Well, this will make our fourth one. Um, we did the show with Doug. We did, but I've got. I mean, if everything works out the right way, we should be playing with Twisted in October. Hell yeah. So it's just, it doesn't, it's not going to stop us from working with either side. And we hope that, you know, any of the people that are at side or at m M&E and look at us any differently for going out and playing together or going out and playing with Twisted. Like, we want to be open to, you know, we don't want to let that bullshit transfer over into what we do. I'm getting because hate for at the end of the um, day. I'll play Twisted's Radio Drop and then I. I'm getting hate for side. Yeah, and Juggalos are freaking like threatening me because I'm playing them back to back. I'm like, seriously, grow up. You can't. You can't. They're you can't new. Like that. There was people trying to start fights at the at the solo shows that we opened, and um, you just can't really let that get to you. The you know. You're gonna hear the fuck twisted chance. You're gonna hear the fuck ICP chance. You're gonna hear all the bullshit. And I, I, I'm excited to see what happens at the gathering because I, 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 oh, yeah. I'm interested to see exactly where all the family is at with it because I feel like there's gonna be different, different things. But I feel like it's a lot of people speaking on some shit that they don't know about. And like the whole thing with Will Stigler, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw out any names, but I just think that whole situation with Will Stigler. It is a very touchy situation, and I don't feel like that. Um, that's like one of the first things that stemmed everything. You know what I mean? And then the whole shit with Otis and everything. But I'm not one to speak on any of them. I know a lot of these people, and I'm not gonna like speak on what I think. But I do think that certain people are trolling online, and it gets out of hand. So you'll have somebody <laughs> say this, that, or the other about that's somebody be like. A lot of chimneys get ruffled. I mean? Yep. See where I'm getting at with this, right? Oh, yeah. And I feel like somebody gets upset or somebody sees something. Nobody nobody understands the full full situation with Will Sigler. You know what I mean? We don't uh, we don't know all this, the, the whole story. You don't we know if he, he was said, lied he to. Said. You know what I mean? It's he said, she said, man. Exactly. You don't fucking know. You don't know. Exactly. From what I understand, he is... is uh, I'm not even going to bring it up. That's how I feel about the situation. It's just... But I, you know, I need he's been around a lot help. of people. And yep, I agree. <laughs> we got. I don't know what's going on? All of a sudden, I hear this really high pitched voice, and it's 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 freaking me out. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> My co-host fucking with you. <laughs> it's just like a random every yep. now and then we're getting this like. Uh, oh yeah, that's how he does. Way I didn't know. <laughs> the way this I feel is- about it is it's very sad and it's very upsetting. <laughs> But at the end of the day, like I got that tight grip on the hatchet, it ain't going no, it ain't slipping out of my hands. You know what I mean? I agree. But it's all very sad, and that's as much as I can really say about it, honestly. But hell yeah, we're gonna go to a song. We're gonna play "Puffing," and then we're gonna come back and talk about that one. Um, I want to give a big okay, shout, shout out, out to, to shout out to Louis Cipher real quick. Can I get a give yeah, a shout out Louis? Woo woo! Yeah, I'm um, gonna give a shout out. We got to one part of a. Uh, Go ahead, Ham. But yeah. Homie. But, uh, but I, what I was saying is, um, shout out to Louis Cipher. He had this song out. 
he had it out for maybe a week, and I was like, fuck that shit, I'm going to jump on that motherfucker. And I, on this song, we really, uh, I spoke a lot about what was going on in my current situation. And uh, you can hear me on the second verse on that song. And shout out to Louis Cypher again. He's one part of Frank and Blunt, which is a group with Gray Bait and Louis Cypher together. So... Yep, we'll be back after the song. Woo woo, wicked wood. What's going on? And we are back on Underground Wicked Radio, interviewing Wicked Wood. This is DJ Snickers, James, homie. Go ahead and calling in. The phone lines op- open. Open twenty four seven, bitches. Yep, Lord uh, Chaos. Yeah. Take a question while we're waiting. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sit here and say one thing. I need psychiatric help, so don't mind me. (laughs) Shut up over there, you half-pinted leprechaun. But anyways, (laughs) this is another um, for the both of you. It's separately, basically. But it's, it's for both of you. You are stranded on an island for the rest of your life. Okay? You can bring... One album, how you play it, is on you. I don't know if you're going to create something. One person and one food group. And go. Great, great, go first. I can't. I'm uh, trying to think now. Great, great, go. My kitty and cheese. And that's it. <laughs> cheese? <laughs> Food, cheese is a food group. You've got meat, cheese, bread, and gravy. And cheese is a food group I choose. Hell yeah. You're going to be constipated as a motherfucker. You know that, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so fit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm a guy with a golden Adonis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's great. All right, oh, my story. Did you, did you get all yours, great mate? What, so what'd you yeah, say? Yeah, my liquor, your... my kitties, and cheese. Dude, I'm going with Malenko too, but like that's crazy that you picked that one too. That's nuts, you motherfucker. I, I'll go with Freak Show just to fuck with you. Um, I don't know. I would say I would definitely say, as far as that person, it would have to be my sons. But like, you can't really pick two at the same time. But like, one of my kids would be what I would choose. Um, but I also would want that for them. What? Jackal was hopping each other like two guys in a trench coat, and it makes it look like one person. Yeah, yeah it'll be fine. It's one per with one person. Yeah, <laughs> two of them. Yeah, yeah. So you, got, you got Matthew and Thomas would be my 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 main two. Um, and then as far as food group, I'd have to go with like Italian cuisine all day, man. I love some Italian food. Um, that's this is like I don't know. My my grandfather was fifty percent or hundred percent Italian, so. I just grew up with pasta constantly. That was what I got. So pasta, pizza, all that good shit. And um, um yeah, pizza's yeah, not Italian, the... by the way. Oh, what are we talking about? What's... I'm not saying Italian. Italians really don't fuck with pizza like that. But yeah, I mean, I, I know that's what I was saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Italian Italians don't be fucking with pasta. I mean, pizza like that on on the on the regular. But Fucking pizza is the shit. Though. <laughs> you gotta like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pizza is life. So it's, life it's, it's is being pizza. classified as Italian today. Life is pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And I by the way, for like the people who are just tuning in, hold on, hold on. For the people who are just tuning in, I need psychiatric psychiatric help. By the way, okay. Yes. Love we it. know that. <laughs> All right. Shut up over there, you damn limp noodled. We want to know where you guys. I got uh, David asking me on Facebook. He wants to know where you guys grew up. <laughs> hey, baby. What, what was the question? Hey, man, no, sorry. He wants to know where you where guys you are up? from and where you grew up. Where we're from? Yep. I grew up in Newcastle, Delaware for the first six years of my life and then I moved to North Carolina until I was about 12 in the mountains and then I moved back up to Delaware which is basically where I became who I am like I after my teenage years I struggled with homelessness for a long time and I just like just learned a lot of things about life and then eventually I didn't want to be there anymore and I came back down to North Carolina and it's the best move I ever made 
What part of North Carolina? Uh, yeah, uh, right in the mountains, in the northwest corner in Ash County. I used Beautiful to live place. right, right in, in between uh, where Tennessee, Virginia, and North Carolina meet. Oh, yeah, okay. where I met, meet, where right I met uh, Crazy and Creep at. My cousin actually knew them from school, and he hooked us up, and uh, that's that. You know, like we started doing this thing together, and it's it's been nothing but good ever since. Hell yeah! So, yeah, I um I was born in South Jersey, and then soon after my parents split up. I uh, moved to South Florida for, from, like, kindergarten through fifth grade. I was living in, like, Lake Worth area. And then right after that, um, went back Ooh. up to New Jersey, was staying right outside Atlantic City area, um, and then moved down to Philly from the beginning of high school. So I was on, like, City Line Avenue, like, right right on the cusp of Philadelphia, right near uh, all the mean shit is but then we got and then i soon after that i moved to north carolina to do my sophomore through uh i guess my second year in college but you got a caller that's where pretty line. much how's it going caller whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. you got a question for what's up, y'all? Uh, apparently i had you guys muted we got call- god damn it you got a question for Wicked Wood? We got call on the line. What's up, Violent James Shaggy Q though? <laughs> <laughs> we got on the line. Who we got on the line? Caller. Oh, I guess they're not talking. They're quiet. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I love it. The only thing that gets called is, I'm like, got a mind on the line. Alright, alright. Cheeky! Gotta love the juggalo. Hell yeah. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Cheeky! I'm there. Oh, they hung up. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, whoop, let's whoop, go whoop, to whoop, another whoop, whoop, whoop. Somebody must have a bit. Yeah. Like somebody that. was fucking with somebody. Now, we should. Uh, homie, I end up closing your messenger out. What song do you want me to play next? Is it OMG? Uh, that one we got a video dropping for. Um, but let's go ahead and kick it into. Uh, I sent you Great Bait. Yep. You got uh, the song Grind featuring Creeper Wicked Wood. So that's the other part of Wicked Wood. Um, okay, I'm back. And he's he's on the first verse on that shit, and um, it's it's the track grind, um, great bait feature and crazy uh, creeper wicked with. I'll put oh, words. Next. Hell yeah! Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Whoop. 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 We'll be back after. Th- we are back on the ground. Wicked Radio interviewing Wicked Wood. This is DJ Snickers, Lord Chaos. Lord Chaos. What up? I think you took the last question. Why don't we talk about? Why don't we talk about no, some you upcoming? Did, God damn it! Oh well, take one. Related to the interview, no dumb okay. questions. Hey, hey, I am relating the motherfucker to the goddamn interview. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, shut up before I send you to the goddamn nut house, motherfucker. Anyhow. Who is your guys' inspiration? Great, but you want to get this one? Or I got, I, I, I got I, first. I'll go first. Um, I have a lot of influence from uh, like industrial music, I guess, as well as the you know, clowns and all that good stuff. But I mean, everybody probably says that same thing, so I'm going to try to go a little different with it. But like, like a large part of my inspiration is definitely industrial music, like Skinny Puppy, Nine Inch Nails, KMFDM. And that a lot of that goes into the, the, the beats that I make and stuff like that. But, uh, just, just dark, gothic, like, I don't know, man. It's, there's so many elements that go into it. Like hip hop was also a major influence of mine. Like, you know, being a 13 year old kid, dueling around drugs, having to sell them if you're the person to, you know, either sell them for, they didn't, the police didn't search kids or whatever. So it's basically I had to hold the stuff. But we'd be listening to like Wu Tang Clan and like Ghetto Boys and stuff like that. And it's just us. 
pretty gangster for a fat little twelve year old, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh there's just so many so many genres of music, but I love classical music and I try to incorporate that orchestral stuff as well. <laughs> like music is music. You got those twelve notes and it's just what you do with them is what you know makes it what it is. I'm gonna say for my influences, um when it what inspired me to start I'm I'm going to go a different direction completely and not really talk about music, but more of, like, my upbringing. But, like, I just always wanted to be involved in this uh, music industry or, like, just entertainment, period. You know what I mean? Whether that would be, like, acting or drawing when I was a kid. I was, like, you know, really into, like, you know, doing cartoons and stuff when I was a kid. And just, like, always wanted to be involved in the entertainment business, period. But then, like... um I would say soon after, like, I got introduced to the early 90s hip hop, and that's like, you know, your NWA, you got your, um, you know, all that shit. That's when things started change, changing for me, and um, then I heard a lot of people like Dirty South shit, like fucking 3 Six Mafia and stuff like that, and just like, yeah. really got my head wrapped up in the fucking game, and, um, really just wanted out to pursue this man and that's that's really what it comes down to is that we we've taken all these different influences and tried to make something completely our own and not you know not be biting i feel like a lot of people you know they instantly go into that oh it's just like icp or it's just like twisted or it's just like that but if you listen to our sound our sound is nothing like that shit you know what i mean just like whipping wood like there's nothing else but exactly like it exactly Exactly, exactly, and that's that's what that, that's what brands us as our own. But definitely, you know, definitely seeing seeing like psychopathic records, man. Like that was a huge, huge part of what started it. And like, I'm not gonna go and say this in this interview or say that in this interview and not live up to what I've been saying since day one, which is yes, the shit was inspired by you know, psychopathic records at a certain point. But I was I was already trying to rap back when I was listening to like fucking NWA and Will Smith and fucking uh Eric B and Rakim and like shit like that that really just changed my whole shit. Like the like the whole boom bat era and shit. Just sh big hip hop, the way it was created and just the, the culture of hip hop, and it becomes something. And then understanding the culture of the underground, that's when things started really changing for me. And uh, I wanted to be involved in it since day one. And uh, I was in the recording studio with my dad at the time to get Celtic music. And I, me and my friend John Gary, who his dad played um, drums, he ended up being Jagged J in the original Wicked Wood, which was just like back back in the day, like when I'm. 12, 14, but, um, we would just get on their shit right after they, they, they were done rehearsing and we would just start, you know, putting some fucking beats together and like doing that fucking old school fucking, uh, Nas shit and just like just loving the game and like wanting to be a part of it. And it was like Snoop Dogg and like that kind of shit, like a lot of West coast influence and, but then taking my style and then flipping that shit up and making it its own thing completely. Oh yeah, nice. And sticking with the roots and still staying right, right. And true to that shit. You know what I mean? A lot of people will grow out of what they were when they first started. No, I became more of that that character than anything. You know what I mean? I got so much. That was great. What time you guys are playing on the chaos stage at the gathering? Oh, 11 p.m. Thursday night, or no? I'm sorry, midnight. Oh on Thursday night, which is very confusing. Um, so we put 1150 on all the fucking flyers because we know motherfuckers won't fucking show up at the right time if we don't tell them the right time. So it's 1159 p.m. Thursday night after the Rave Shangri-La. Um, uh, yeah. So you have like Chop Chop at 11 and then we're at 12 that night. But it's hard to explain it and I don't want to go put on all the fucking flyers 12 o'clock because people are not going to show up. Good right luck, time. you guys. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. it so much. Thank you. And we we're, we we're, we set up. We we plan to rip shit the fuck down and put every you know, show all these people exactly where the fuck we came for. And we got a show for you for sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Exactly. Thanks. What everybody yeah. else has been doing in North Carolina for the last year and all these different other locations, we want to bring that to the stage and fucking OKC. 
for the motherfucking Juggalo EP Daniel in 2017. I'm we'll fucking kill it. <laughs> Yeah, it's my first gathering. I'm really excited to meet a lot of people I've been talking to for a couple years now. And it's uh, so exciting. I'm super stoked about this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Nice. And we have live on the from everybody now. Are. So, yeah. We should play. Do you want to play OMG? Definitely, definitely. Let's, let's do it. Yeah. Um, oh my God, we got a video dropping for this this shit, and I'm hoping for Friday if I can get back to work on everything. Everything should be finished up, and um, it'll it'll drop on Facebook first, and then it'll go on Vivo, on YouTube, and all that good shit. But uh, at first, we're gonna just go ahead and just drop it on Facebook. Um, we got a couple cameos in there that a lot of people know. Um, very exciting. Like, we got people that are in the fucking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in this video, which is just crazy. Hell yeah. But, um, yeah, shout out, shout out to all my people that came through for this video. But what's keeping me, uh, posted, I was, I was, I was kind of talking to you guys during the break about it, but, uh, I got, I put it up online where everybody could submit videos and I got flooded with fucking videos for these, oh my God. And I've been trying to piece it all together the right way, but it's taking some time. Right now, um, we just got, I had to narrow it down to 25 that got, that got chosen for, for this, but definitely cool because we got a bunch of fans in there saying, oh my God, and shit, like, oh my God, during when the hook drops and shit. It's going to be an amazing video. And yeah, we filmed a little bit at the last year's gathering and it just take, it took, it took a, a took quite a bit to get it all finished up, but it's finally, finally finishing up and we're going to drop this shit on Friday, hopefully. My if birthday. everything goes as planned, then you guys can peep that fucking video. That's my birthday. Can't wait to see it. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, nice. then. You're going to get blessed with that fucking video. Yeah. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Only oh, yeah. on the nut house. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Fucker. <laughs> yes. All right, I've had This is the nut house. You want to know his real DJ name? I got to tell you guys. It's DJ Mama's Boy. We even have a commercial. No. Shut DJ up. DJ Mama's Boy. Shut up, Boy's you cockroach. Cookies. On underground Shut up, ground. cockroach. <laughs> Shut up, you goddamn cockroach. All right, let's play the song. <laughs> we'll be back after this. Oh, my God, by Wicked Wood. I've, we are question back again. on Underground uh, Wicked Radio. He's like, not the red question again. Oh, great. Hey, you got oh, a new great. member, man. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you can give Grave Bait that question, actually. Why don't you give Grave Bait that question? Man? Yep, there we go. Uh, What's that? Ask that one first, Lord Chaos. Okay. Wicked Wood, have you earned your red wings? Fly away. I got my red wings. I got my green wings. You don't want to know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you're flying. Hell yeah. You're yep. flying. Now, the other oh, hand. Hand. When did that question get asked, Gravy? We, we were... <laughs> We were recently asked that question only, on this. I don't remember when it was, but only in this nut house of an underground radio show that we ask the weird questions like that. Before we take the radio drops, I'm gonna ask a question, and you both have to have separate answers. All right, you gotta marry one, kill one, and fuck one. Ah, shit, monkeys. All right, we're going to throw Sugar Slam in there. Okay. Sugar Slam! Bill Clinton's wife, Hillary Clinton. And I got to do another underground artist. Smalls one. Okay. Yeah, Smalls one. Oh, damn. Uh, we got Mary, Kill, Mary. and what? Mary, Kill, Mary, Kill, and Fuck. Fuck, oh, marry, man. kill, and fuck. Bill Clinton. Oh, God. One. No, wait, I fuck small one. Uh, it's, this is horrible. There's no <laughs> There's no good answer. Marry, kill, and fuck, sugar slam, kill, Clinton. Yes. Yes. That's all I'm I saying marry, marry small one. Kill Clinton, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna get arrested. Yeah, dude. Same answer. Um, and then, <laughs> then the Sugar Sam question, it's like, man, but it's like the worst out of the two. You know what I mean? But 
I'm go. I'll go with uh, Mary. Mary Smalls one kill uh, Sugar Slam. No, no, I kill Sugar Slam. Uh, kill Clay. Kill with a dick. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Fuck Sugar Slam. Even though that's kind of weird, but and uh, I got to throw it in there. Denmark. How do you think that's the sloppy the seconds back. would be? Violent J, yeah, if you're too well, into offense. That's what I'm saying. I don't like that's, 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 son. I really wouldn't want him like no, I'm good. On he's probably only all laughing three, his but ass off if he's tuned in. <laughs> probably like <"Bock." laughs> All right, Lord Chaos. Next question. Okay. Start, now this is the part to where you sit here and you give out your shout outs and throw your radio links. Or your links, I should say. Sorry, not radio your radio drop. links. To where they can find... Yeah. This is where you do your radio you drop. your list. I'm going to go first. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go... I'm going I'm to kill it with the, these radio uh, drops. And sh- shout out to everybody I'm going to forget in this whole fucking process. Because, like, every single time there's somebody listening and I don't give a shout out. Shout out to right. everybody that's been coming to our North Carolina shows. You know exactly who you are. Um... They just been killing it and supporting us all day. Um, shout out to Fago lovers. Shout out to Psychopathic. Shout out to M N E. Fago lovers, um, big. Shout out to my homies in Graveyard Gang. Um, shout out to uh, ICP. Who else we got? Um, shout out to everybody who has been a merch person. All my Yetis. We've been having these Yetis come out on stage with us for <laughs> a surprise, and they flashing <laughs> off some confetti guns and all this good shit. So shout out to all my Yetis. Um, shout out to fucking Juggalo News and Wicked Underground Radio for even having us on this motherfucker. Um, just killing it, y'all. And, um, shout out to all the fans. Um, shout out to my boys and shout out to just really, uh, like, I know I'm going to forget some people, but like, <laughs> it's just difficult to try to get everybody, shout out to all the artists that we're working with and all that good shit. <laughs> but just do a universal shout out. <laughs> just, just, just do a universal. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to my mama because I didn't get to say it last time I got cut off. Uh, D Crisis, Gilgamesh, Asatune, all my boys, everybody work with Jigsaw. Shout out to my boy I got, them. I got them all covered, bro. All right, all right. Well, I just had to get a couple in. Know me. Yeah, we gotta get. You gotta get. You gotta get them all. Stitchy C. Shout out to <laughs> Yeah. Go, D Crisis. Shout out to D Crisis. I think I said him three times. AXC. Everybody, man. Everybody. Yeah. Axe is the shit. Yeah. My, my only goof off. The other GD. All members. these people that have put, <laughs> put so much effort into Wicked Wood this year and just like, thank you guys so much. We uh, we, we appreciate everybody that's come, come to any show this year or ever seen us live and supported us with a fucking shirt or a CD or got us to the point where we're at right now because we are on top of the world right now. And thank you guys. Yeah, guys. <laughs> radio drops. Okay. Yep. Radio drops. Produce them radio drops, motherfuckers. Produce right. those. Those. All right. We gotta, we gotta kick it off correctly. Um, just a minute. Like, do you want to do Wicked Woods and then separate ones, or like how are we doing it? Oh, you can do separate, and I can clip them together later. Be right back, y'all. All right, hold on one Drop second. them radio drops. Damn it. We're waiting. I'm not getting any younger, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, check it out. I got, I got you right now. Shout out to Underground Wicked Radio for having us out. DJ Snickers and Lord Chaos. Thank you guys so much for having us. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm. This is Green Bean. You're listening to Wicked Underground Radio. Lord Chaos and Snickers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Underground Wicked Radio, bro. You Underground. Right. This is Green Bean. You're listening to Underground Wicked Radio with Lord Chaos and Snickers. And I said it wrong the first time, but this time I got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you guys said yeah. you would. either one. Of I got, yours. I got you. I got you with a good one now. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're get it. We'll get it right. It's a crazy at Wicked Wood. Shout out to Underground Wicked Radio, DJ Snickers, and Lord Chaos putting it fucking down for Juggalo News official fucking radio. Mm-hmm. Dubs up, motherfuckers. Whoop whoop. 
Whoop, whoop. All right. Now it's time for the music links. Sit there and put those links down there. Be like, yeah, this is where we can find you. If you just you can check out all our shit at wickedwood.com, grave-bait.com. Dash is the hyphen's important. You got to have the hyphen. Grave <laughs> dash. Yeah, you got to put that that little dash in there, that little minus. But uh, yeah, definitely wickedwood.com. I believe we still have wickedwoodent.com, so you can go to wickedwoodent.com. <laughs> uh, so you can go to wickedwood.com or you can go to wickedwoodent.com. It doesn't matter. If you got to, you can uh, Google us. We're all over that, like the top. Yeah, <laughs> just search it without the C. That's the big thing everybody forgets is spell Wicked Wood without the C. And you'll, yeah, you'll be all right. I don't know that. who would do that. And you can get it. Get, <laughs> you can get it on fucking Spotify, iTunes, um, all the good retailers, YouTube. We got music videos. Like I said, everybody be sure to check out that Oh My God music video dropping Friday. And um, yeah, graybait.com, gray-bait.com. You can peep all his freshness. And uh, thank you guys again yeah. for having us. Yeah, we really you. appreciate it. Definitely appreciate okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Two final questions. Okay, one of them is my own, and one of them is the radio. Final question, okay? My final question. Which which host is better? Me or me or Snickers? Lord Chaos or Snickers? <laughs> They're quiet. That's why right. so you can't put us in that position. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, yes, I can. Are. You're almost a high pitched voice version of it, whoever it is. <laughs> I think you guys are both pretty awesome as far as hosts go. Uh, I've had a couple radio radio uh, interviews where the host was just not very charismatic, but you guys both did an excellent job. Man, I hate interviews Good. like that. Yeah, like my very first interview was like, oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> Crane knows well, what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, sometimes you get Snick- yeah, it's hit or miss with certain ones. You know what I mean? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. No, the reason yeah, why I, I ask is you guys are doing a great job over there for fucking Juggalo News official radio and killing the shit. And you guys are, you know what I mean? You guys got those upcoming interviews with some other other names and stuff. So I'm proud of you guys and everything you guys are doing over there. And much love for making wood all day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> no, the reason why I was asking is because I like to, one, I like to fuck with Snickers, okay? And two, I just want to know what people think. I mean, that's why I ask it. Mama's boy. They all love a mama's boy. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, shut the fuck up, you goddamn cockroach. Bro, I got combat. Bro, by combat. <laughs> Women I got combat. Like I got raid in the dude. house. Women like guys so that good, love man. their mamas. If you guys can't be competing with each other. If you guys are competing no. with each other, then you gotta be the team. team. team is never a good situation. Right. Competing in anything? I'm just fucking with Snickers. Oh, uh, yeah. Like to. I said, I'm just fucking with the motherfucker. I mean, okay, here we go. God damn it, motherfucking Snickers. Put the goddamn peanut butter down and get away from the fucking chihuahua. Look, like Zug Island said, he loves a mama's boy that loves their mama. Okay? Sid said, Fuck you, bitch. You gotta love the mama's boy. Ain't no wrong with that. I love my mama. You should've eaten a Snickers. Exactly. I satisfy. <laughs> I don't want to know what you satisfy, motherfucker. You can satisfy your goddamn self. Just leave yeah. the peanut butter alone. No comment. But, anyways, final question, homie. All right. Yep. Okay. Wicked Wood, did you enjoy your interview with Underground Wicked Radio, and will you return? No, we uh, never yes, come yes. back. It's the worst interview ever. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you guys are amazing. You guys are always fucking great, and uh, we appreciate the love, like I said, always. And uh, whenever you guys want to bring us back, maybe it'll be after, you know, the next EP drops or whatever it, it may be. Um we, we we are more than happy to be a part of it. You know, Just hit yeah. us up anytime. After the gather, Yay, we got a bunch of that's going to be out. awesome. I can't wait to are hear you, are it. You guys, are you guys making it out? Not this year, I can't. No, it sucks. On my birthday. I can't. Every year. Can't. I can't. Definitely check it out. We're going to be live on, on, live on Facebook, all that good shit. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Be, uh, I won't be able to make it. Funds are tight. I'm covering the 607 Definitely. gathering this year. Mariah, New York. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I wish, I wish they would ask us to come out and be a part of that, too. But 
I wish, man. That'd We're actually great. going out. And uh, uh, another thing we can shout out real quick. Uh, if, if MBK, if we're still live on the MBK. air. MBK, MBK yeah. Yeah, shout out to MBK for having us out. We're on real, Superfest real. this year. Um, I can get the dates real quick. But we're also, uh, upcoming August shows 17th. wise, we have, is it August 17th? And then we're with so. Aaron Benton and Jelly Roll on. Hell yeah. No. Oh, yeah, Jelly Roll is a dick. Right nice, now nice, we got, nice, we got nice, Spartanburg, nice, South Carolina, nice. August 17th. Is, <laughs> we got uh, Jaren Benton and Jelly Roll on in Spartanburg on August 17th. And August 19th, we're in Northwood, Ohio. August 19th. And um, then following up that, we're going to be October 20th, we're going to be at Helen Sports Bar down in uh, our hometown area. And then we're also going to be... Uh, More chaos. Not while he's dropping his show links. <laughs> and we got... So pet to eat. That's it. Snickers is the one that's chosen now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. Up I, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I keep it got, real, okay? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, October, Did, uh, uh, October 24th, we're going to be with uh, Dope and Head PE at Arizona PE yeah, in Greensboro, North Carolina. That. Um, oh, yeah. That's going to be a dope show. And no pun no intended pun there. <laughs> and um, then we got, uh, like I said, Superfest. We got AXC on there. We got MBK. Bunch of bunch of fucking amazing fucking horrorcore artists that are going to be on that shit too. Like just when you see Axe, do me a figure. favor. When you walk up to Axe, <laughs> just look at him and say Halloween Snicker Dick. He'll just start laughing. <laughs> Snicker Dick. I got you with that. Joey that's gonna Black. be that's gonna be kind of awkward, but. I'm oh, on, no, I'll, 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 I'll do it just for you because you told me to do it on this radio show. <laughs> you are basically keep it awkward at all times. So oh, yeah, hell out. yeah. Oh, I'll, no, I'll man. He'll just start I'll laughing for the team. when he says that. Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're out there in Northwood, Ohio on August 19th. And uh, with Jelly Roll and Jaron Benton, August 17th in South Carolina. And... Oh. October 20th, oh, we're going to be a lot of driving. doing our hometown shit. Um, that's going to be our Halloween show. And then we got the Dope Head PE show on the 24th. <laughs> we're going to be kicking it. Um, like I said, we got more upcoming uh, upcoming dates coming up. Uh, we also should be getting the Twisted show if everything falls uh, into place the right way. What do we got? <laughs> I said we got plenty more Jimmy's to Russell, bro. <laughs> So this is kind of strange. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, we're gonna be we're gonna be everywhere. You got yeah, we're we're gonna make some big announcements come up soon about different uh different shows that we're playing. But everybody can stay posted on wickedwood dot com or grave dash bait dot com and all that good shit. Well, if you open up for Twisted, now, Snickers is not my open up for Twisted yeah. Man. Whitney Payton is touring with them. I've interviewed her three times. Fuck yeah, we, I've, I've done shows with Whitney before. Um, shout out to Whitney Payton. Shout out to Supreme, who we uh, just did the show at, with Wu Tang. I've interviewed um, him with, too. Uh, Judah Priest of Wu Tang. Hell and yeah. Supreme's good people, man. Um, he, Supreme, the resurrected. Yeah, Judah Priest. You remember, yeah, you remember Supreme? Yeah, yep. yeah, he's cool yep. people, man. They killed it. They killed it that night in Greensboro. But um, yeah. yeah, we got, we got. Shout out to fucking Hunter Halleck for putting us on that shit too. You know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to Hunter and, too, um, man. Yeah, she she made that whole thing happen, and yeah, um, good yeah. show. It's it's just you know it's all love and shout out to Judah Priest again because he he, he showed a lot of love. But yeah, Judah we did, I did show with uh, Whitney back when I was in the group. But, hey, yeah, check Judah. this. Judas Priest hit me up for an so interview, dope. and he chose my birthday. I'm interviewing him on my birthday on Friday. Judas Priest. That's dope. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Us up. He Yo. goddamn that's great, that's great. Great. So, let him let him know we said what's up and that uh oh, yeah. definitely I'm gonna call in. That, uh, call in? Yeah, I gotta yeah, we gotta call in or something. Yeah, definitely. Maybe uh, which, <laughs> actually Friday, what do we got going on Friday? I think we got rehearsals all day Friday, but um we we'll definitely it. try to tune in at least. Uh, oh, yeah. and we'll definitely shout it all out. But yeah, he's a good he's good people, man. And uh we are saying all day and that's fucking that's, it was just a, a fucking great show that we played with him. I, was it three weeks ago we played? Um, I can't remember. A month now. Yeah, he it's actually shared. Yeah, can't, can't. He shared and tagged the hell out of people on your flyer when he saw his interview with you tonight. Oh, dope, dope. Yeah, he's good people, man. And, like, 
Yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll, we did a cipher with him at the end of um, that show. And um, like I said, Supreme, that's, uh, I met him at the gathering last year. And uh, Whitney, I had known since like I was doing shows with Tide Project back in the day. And um, show was Liquid Assassin back in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I met Whitney. Liquid Assassin! Yeah! What? Liquid Assassin on that? Yeah, fuck yeah. Hell yeah! He's good. He's huh? good with fucking people. Yeah, we uh we kicked it at the fucking hotel that night, and um everybody showed love. I think it was uh that was when I met Mumra for the first time. I met there was a bunch of those cats, but you know it was it was a great experience. That was uh, sh- uh shout out again to Graveyard Gang, um Bile and Death Gang, Charlie Siegel. Um, they were and the flock of seagulls. What are we talking about? Charlie, shout out to Charlie. Oh yeah, fuck yeah! Shout out to Charlie Siegel all day. Shout, shout out to oh, Adam yeah. too. I can't. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get There's so many everybody people. In. It's hard to remember them all. We need a list. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't get everybody. Shout out to Eric and Cassie, <laughs> Madeline and, and Dylan. Yeah, fucking Madeline and Dylan. What the fuck am I thinking? All of them. Shout yeah. out to the whole multi universe. But yeah, um. Just such a such such love we've received this year, man, and uh the honor to open up to these legends and stuff like that in this game and I, I, I almost shit myself at the fucking Thug Island show when uh fucking all of a sudden I heard the fucking homie fucking riff coming on from the fucking guitar from Mike P and I was like, Oh fuck, this is fucking dope. You know what I mean? And just, just to be kicking with those people and everybody showing love and everybody in the underground was like turned with that we didn't we didn't think really respected yeah. us or showed us that love it was like it's like this year seventeen man i can't I can't even fathom how 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 this year's been because it's been all the way up and at the same time it's been one of the craziest fucking years in my whole life and yeah, we're gonna finish it up strong too uh, yeah that's what that's the plan yeah. and um so much new we got we got big yeah exactly so um yeah, definitely. Right, right. When, whenever we get these new t- stuff, maybe after we get back from Keeper Fest, we can come back and kick it with you. And um, again, everybody check out Friday, fucking Judah Priest, and then you guys got what's, what's on Saturday. I think it's uh, that all happening. So I'm not going to drop your names or anything. But. Now, Judas Priest, he's from uh, North Carolina. No, he's, uh, I believe he's, he's in Philly area. He's from the Philly area. He's good people too. And like I said, um, they kill it live. Like him and Supreme are oh, fucking the base. This fucking show. whole camp is fucking Supreme is dope. And they got some choppers in there. And um that shit, yeah, they're all together. Also too. I don't know her yeah, name. Yeah, you gotta check out great. Yeah. They're killing it. They're killing it the whole fucking night and like it was dope. We did a cipher at the end of the night, y'all got on stage together, we're kicking it and um that's what it's about, man. It's all about family, and it's all about you know that that ability to you know connect with your your fellow fucking people in this this game. Because there's only so many of us, man. And if we're all beefing, if we're all having fucking problems with everybody, that's not good for anything in this industry. You know what no, I mean? Man, like, positivity I, is so important. You got to keep it. Yeah, put all that negativity aside. And enjoy the shit because we only have so long on this fucking earth. And if you don't fucking take care of your shit, then what do you got? You ain't got shit. Right, right, right. So <laughs> the rise oh, yeah. and the drop. Now, did we? Uh, right. Last question: Did we miss anything on the interview you want to cover? Uh, I think we got everything. I mean, I would have asked the question good. about new music. But, like, new music, but it worked new out. Music? Yeah, but it worked out good. We still talked about it, but I'm saying like a specific yeah. question, like you know what new stuff you guys got coming would have been cool. But I mean, we wouldn't have told you much anyway. I'm just saying like specific <laughs> as a question would have been good. <laughs> what, we want what, you to ask the question. Okay, I'm gonna so ask don't now. Answer the question I'm gonna ask now just because you said it. So what new stuff you guys got coming? Oh, all kinds. We can't um, tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, we can't tell you about shit. No. You didn't ask the question in time. Now you don't get any answers. Um, right. I, I, I dropped it in a interview which we did with TPC um, at the Wu Tang show. But I told I talk, talked a little bit about the fact we got an upcoming track with uh, Busy Bone. Um, so yeah. I can I can just shed some light on that. Um, we got that coming. We got a bunch of other clubs popping. Um, 
some people are going to get upset about some of the clouds we're dropping too. So, you know, it might have been people we were talking about tonight. It might have been, you know, <laughs> anything. But uh, definitely some surprises at the gathering this year. I can say that. I can add some speculation to that shit. And um, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna be bringing our fucking A game. And I um, to waste it. Let's gather it. Uh, not just <laughs> left our best breath. But we're, oh, we're planning not. to come up there and fuck up some shit. That's all we're saying. And um, yeah, definitely gonna, gonna be. be uh, it's gonna definitely change things. That's 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 how I'm feeling. So that's it. So be a whole new whole new ball game after this show. Hell yeah! I can't wait yes. to see it. We we we've specifically taken the last three weeks off from doing shows to be prepared for this show. Let's just say that. And um, new music wise, um, expect a lot more uh, crazy and great bait, and we're gonna get creep involved. Everything's everything is still the same as it ever was. If not, it's just 110 percent more, and it's just gonna be fantastic. Uh, shout out to Gypsy on that. Fantastic too. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Gypsy. Shout out to Mickey. Everybody. Okay. Everybody in this dish. All our people at Ninja Den Entertainment. Um, shout out to like <laughs> all the, yeah. I, we do, how many shout outs did we do tonight? Because Marshall the last Alexander. interview we did was with, um, our, our, our people. We've been doing uh, it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, the, we did it to join Unplugged Radio yeah, and, uh, we got a shit ton of people oh, and yeah, everybody Detroit got upset Unplugged at us. Yeah. And, um, yeah, shout out to Detroit Unplugged Radio, even though that might be your competition. I don't know. I but don't compete with everybody nobody. Everybody got to love. Yep. We got most of them. Exactly. Yeah. I think we got everybody. We don't compete. Um, we just do good. That's all exactly. that <laughs> That's what it is. We only interview the sexiest that's, that's people around. And that's what I was <laughs> yeah, exactly. We we fuck with all the underground radios because we don't choose a favorite. We pick, you know, we show love to everybody and everybody shows love to us. And that's what it's all about. It's all about camaraderie and just killing it all together because that's what it's about. Exactly. If not, there's a lot of holes in these woods and a lot of problems in those holes. <laughs> I'll put it to this way. I'll send another artist to another online radio or another radio station. But if they're trying to compete with another radio... I'm just like, I won't even bother with them because that's not how it should be. Yeah, it's brotherhood, man. Exactly. Brotherhood. Hey, 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 hey. Snickers. Yes. yes. Will is hitting me up. Willie Hayes, does he want to hop on? Ye- yeah. What? He wants. All right. Yeah. Will E. Hayes is Will hitting e. me Hayes up. Is he wants to get on. We're going to interview him. Yep. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. All right, homies. Really to play the gathering this year. All right. Yes, well, you guys have a great That's night. Thank you too. You guys have a good night. Good night. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop.